this is the moment you've been waiting for. The Holy Ghost is all about this place. We are in the company of angels. Ah, the spirit of the just men made perfect are here. This is Mount Zion, the city of the living God. Anything is possible right now. I like you to lift your voice and begin to declare. Begin to declare. Speak against that issue. I like you to command that mountain to move right now. Every mountain of infirmity. Every mountain of sickness. Praise the Lord. Every mountain of pain. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Welcome to this worship service. A moment for us to worship our God. May his name be glorified. Amen. We take the call to worship from the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verses 5 to 10. Isaiah 46, 5 to 10. To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we should be alike? The lavish gold out of the bag and wear silver on the scales and hire a goldsmith and he makes it a god. They prostrate themselves, yes, they worship. They bear it on the shoulder. They carry it and set it in its place, and it stands. From its place, it shall not move. Though one cries out to it, yet it cannot answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this and show yourselves men. Recall to mind, O you transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. O oh Lord our God, again this day we give you praise. We give you glory. Awesome Jehovah, the great God of wonders, the mighty God, the controller of history, the one who rules in the affairs of men, the one who speaks and it is done. For it is you that have the final say in all matters, the one whose greatness covers the entire universe. You are God forever. Heaven is your throne. The earth is your footstool. You sit on your throne forever. Nobody, no power can remove you from your seat. You are God. We bow to you. Great God of wonders, this morning, we have come to worship you. We worship you, our maker. We worship you, our God. We worship you, our great provider. Be thou highly exalted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This moment, Lord, we humble ourselves in your presence, confessing our sins to you because you know us inside out. We can't hide our sins from you. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you forgive us. Amen. Forgive us Amen. the sins of our word, the sins of our thought, the sins of our action, the sin of our inaction. Oh God, we pray, forgive. Amen. Show us mercy. Amen. Cleanse us by the precious blood of Jesus Amen. as we hide ourselves behind the cross of Christ. Pleading for mercy. We plead for mercy. Let mercy speak for us. Amen. At such a time as this. Thank you Lord God Almighty. For your love for us. 
Thank you for keeping us alive that we may see today. Thank you for all the blessings that you have lavished on us individually. Thank you for your blessings upon our families. Thank you for your blessing even upon the church, the universal. In the entire Christendom, we have seen your hand resting upon your people. Thank you particularly for United Evangelical Church, how far you have led us by your power. Lord, we acknowledge your sovereignty and we give you thanks. Thank you, dear Lord, for today that we are privileged to worship you again. Oh, Lord, accept our worship. Oh, Lord, bless us. Even this day, we pray that you take over from us. Let the Spirit alone lead us, guide us, direct us in all that we will do. Give your name the glory. We decrease for you to increase. Yes. Not unto us, O oh Lord, not unto us, but to you alone be the glory. Amen. Even as we worship you this day. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome to this moment of worship. To God alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. My Jesus today. My Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. You are the wonderful man. You are the wonderful man, my Jesus today. My Jesus today, my Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. You are the wonderful man. You are the wonderful man, my Jesus today. My Jesus today, my Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. You are the wonderful man. I'm the wonderful man, my Jesus today. My Jesus today, my Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. He is the wonderful man. He is the wonderful man. My Jesus today. My Jesus today. My Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. He is the wonderful man. He is the wonderful man. My Jesus. My Jesus today, my Jesus tomorrow, my Jesus forever. He is the wonderful man. He is the wonderful man. My Jesus today, my Jesus today, my Jesus tomorrow, my Jesus forever. He is the wonderful God. He's a wonderful God, my Jesus today. My Jesus today. My Jesus tomorrow. My Jesus forever. He is the wonderful God. He is the wonderful God, my Jesus. My Jesus today. My Jesus tomorrow. Forever. He is the wonderful man. Hallelujah. How wonderful. How marvelous are the works of my Lord and King. How wonderful, how marvelous is my Savior's love for me. How wonderful, 
We say receive praise, Amen. glory, Amen. dominion, Amen. power, Amen. and majesty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Take up your Bible. Let's take our Bible reading as we go to the book of Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 7 to 9. Hebrews 13, 7 to 9. Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines, for it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with food which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. We ask the Lord to bless the reading of his word to our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, again, this moment we humble ourselves and ask that you speak your word to us. For the entrance of your word, give it light. Let there be lights as you minister to us. Meet every person under the sound of my voice at his or her point of need. As you speak this word, perform your wonders in the life of every hearer. Amen. Bless us as we hear you today. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The theme for the message today, by the grace of God, is this same Jesus. This same Jesus, part 12. For which now, God has been leading us on this particular theme, very important theme, this same Jesus. And by the grace of God, we continue with it even today. This same Jesus, part 12. As 
we look into the scripture, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, the Bible says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't change and it will never change. This same Jesus. Yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. All may change, but Jesus. been looking at this same Jesus in diverse ways. We have seen this same Jesus as Jesus the name above all names. As recorded in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. The book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 9. Here is the word of the Lord. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Jesus, the name above all names. We have previously seen this same Jesus, the name above all names, that he is the Savior. We have seen that this same Jesus saves from sin. Jesus saves from sickness. Jesus saves from danger. Jesus saves from secret conspiracy. Today we want to continue looking at the fifth point, point number five, that this Jesus saves from sorrows. Jesus saves from sorrows. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care to know how sorrowful you may be. Today, this Jesus will save you Amen. from that sorrow. Amen. He will save you from those kind of sorrows. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 31. The book of Jeremiah chapter 31. Verses 10 to 13. Jeremiah 31, 10 to 13. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, Ye who scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of one stronger than he. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, streaming to the goodness of the Lord, for wheat and new wine and oil, for the young of the flock and the head. Their souls shall be like a well-watered garden. And they shall sorrow no more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance. 
and the young men and the old together. For I will turn their mourning to joy, will comfort them, and make them rejoice rather than sorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus has what it takes to save one from sorrow. Today is your day. He has come to you to save you from that predicament that made you to be sorrowful. He knows how to do it. He says, and they shall sorrow no more at all. Hallelujah. Amen. They shall sorrow no more at all. I speak to you in the name of the Lord that you shall sorrow no more at all. From today, by the name of the risen Jesus, you will sorrow no more at all. Amen. For Jesus will save you Amen. from that sorrow. And he says, For I will turn their mourning to joy, will comfort them, and make them rejoice rather than sorrow. Amen. There's power in the word of God. It shall happen to you Amen. as you hear the sound of my voice today. You will sorrow no more at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He turned my morning into joy a day. He turned my sorrow into joy. Amen. He turned my sorrow into joy, amen. He turned my sorrow into joy. Jehovah Nisi, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. He turned my sorrow into joy. Alpha and Omega, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. He turned my sorrow into joy. Zero by zero, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. He turned my sorrow into joy. Alpha and Omega, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. Hallelujah, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. Hallelujah, he turned my sorrow into joy, amen. He turned, he turned, he turned my sorrow into joy. Hallelujah! He turned my sorrow into joy. Jehovah Nisi, He turned my morning into joy. Amen. Hallelujah! He turned my sorrow into joy. Alpha and Omega, He turned my sorrow into joy. Amen. He turned my sorrow into joy. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. If that is your testimony, can you shout a louder Amen? Amen. He said, You shall sorrow no more at all. Amen. And that he will turn your mourning, your sorrow, into joy. Yes. Hallelujah! Amen. That he will make you to rejoice Amen. rather than sorrow. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus says from Surah Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich. And he had no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. Amen. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich. And he had no sorrow with it. Whatever that God blesses you with. No sorrow will be added to it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Men may want to do everything within their power to add sorrow. 
for your blessing. But the Bible tells us that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he had no sorrow with it. So shall it be in your life. Amen. No sorrow will be added. Amen. Jesus saves from sorrows. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 10. I love the word of God. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 10. And the ransom of the Lord shall return. And come to Zion with singing. With everlasting joy on their head. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sign shall flee away. Amen. Hallelujah. In this season, God says I should tell you. That no matter what you are going through, sorrow and sign shall flee away. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 51, verses 10 and 11. Isaiah 51, verses 10 and 11. Are you not the one who dried up the sea? The waters of the great deep that made the depth of the sea a road for the redeemed to cross over. So the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their head. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sign shall flee away. Amen. Jesus that serves from sorrow says as he intervenes in your situation, sorrow and sign shall flee away. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just believe God today that he is faithful to whatever that he says that sorrow and sign shall flee Amen. away. Amen. Amen. First Kings chapter 17, verse 7 to 16. First Kings chapter 17, verses 7 to 16. Let's see what the Lord is able to do. First Kings 17, verses 7 to 16. And it happened after that that the brook dropped because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came to him saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded the widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, indeed the widow was there gathering sticks and he called to her and said please bring me a little water in a cup that i may drink and as she was going to get it he called to her and said please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand so she said as the lord your god lives i do not have bread only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar and see i am gathering a couple of sticks that i may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die and elijah said to her do not fear go and do as you have said but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me and afterward make some for yourself and your son for thus says the lord god of israel the bean of flour shall not be used up nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the lord send rain on the earth 
So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. The bean of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry. According to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says from sorrow. The woman was gathering stick sorrowfully to prepare the last meal for the family. That herself, her son, after eating that one, they would die. But there was a divine intervention. Hallelujah. Amen. To change the story. I come to you today in the name of the Lord to let you know that the story changer is around. Amen. He will change your story. Amen. He will change your story. Amen. He will save you from sorrow. Amen. If you believe in shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus saves. From sorrows. That is your portion. Amen. From today, Amen. I have come to tell you that He will do it. Amen. He will do it for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm number 30. Psalm number 30. And verse 5. Psalm number 30. Verse 5. Let's hear the word of the Lord. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As you hear the word of the Lord today I say to you congratulations Amen. for your new dawn has come yeah. for weeping may endure just in the night but joy cometh in the morning begin to celebrate the dawn of a new day yes. for God says he will give you joy Amen. that will be your portion Amen. weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning your morning has come Amen. your moment of joy has come Amen. your moment of celebration has come Amen. for Jesus is able to save from sorrow Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. that is what he does and that will remain your portion Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. as the sixth point point number six Jesus saves from shame Jesus saves from shame hallelujah hallelujah To put you to shame. Jesus says from shame. Amen. Today he will save you. Amen. From every shame. Hallelujah. Psalm number 25. Verses 1 to 3. Psalm number 25. Verses 1 to 3. To you O Lord. I lift up my soul. Oh my God. I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who wait on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherously with that cause. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not be ashamed. Amen. Jesus will save you from every shame. Amen. That is the word of God for you today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you may be, I call on you to pray along with me in the wordings of this song. 
as we sing from that psalm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Unto thee, O oh Lord. Unto thee, O oh Lord. Do I lift up my soul unto thee, O Lord? Hey, do I lift up my soul, O oh my God? Let not my enemies triumph over me, over me, unto the O Lord. Do I lift up my soul unto the O Lord? Do I lift up my soul? Let not my enemies triumph over me, over me, unto the O Lord, unto the O Lord, you will lift up my soul, unto the O God will answer that your prayer. Amen. Jesus saves from shame. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at verse 20 of the same passage. The same passage of Psalm 25. Verse 20. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. If you are putting your trust in this Jesus, you will not be ashamed. Amen. He will save you from shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm number 31, verse 1. And verse 17. Psalm number 31, verse 1 and verse 17. In you, O oh Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Verse 17. Do not let me be ashamed, O oh Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Do not let me be ashamed, O oh Lord, for I have called upon you. That should be your cry. And he is able to save you Amen. from shame. Amen. Psalm number 34, verse 5. Psalm number 34, verse 5. They look to him and we are radiant. And their faces were not ashamed. They looked to you and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. As you look to him, your face will not be ashamed. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Jesus saves from shame. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Joel. Chapter 2, this is 25 to 27. Joel, chapter 2, 25 to 27. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, 
the consuming locusts and the chewing locusts, my great army which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God. And there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Amen. Hey, I love it. My people shall never be put to shame. Amen. May that be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you put your trust in this God. You will not be put to shame. Amen. For he says my people shall never be put to shame. Amen. My people shall never Amen. be put. He, re he repeated it. Verses 26, 27. My people shall never be put to shame. My people shall never be put to shame. Ah! What a loving father. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know him as your God, you trust in him. He says, you will not be put to shame. Amen. Let them do whatever that they want to do behind you to put you to shame. You will not be ashamed. Amen. For God is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 33. Romans chapter 9, verse 33. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and rock of offense. And whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Amen. Whoever believes, whoever, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Amen. Romans chapter 10, verse 11. Romans 10, 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Amen. The scripture says so. Whoever, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. And the scripture can never be broken. Whatever that God says, he brings it to pass. Hold on to the word of God. You will not be put to shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the word from the Lord. And we hold on to it. And we believe it. And we believe it. Amen. First Peter chapter 2. Verse 6. First Peter chapter 2. Verse 6. Therefore it is also content in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief corner stone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Amen. Jesus is the chief corner stone. He is precious. And he says, according to the word of God, that whoever believes on him will not by no means be put to shame. Hallelujah. Amen. And he who believes on him will by no means, I love that, will by no means that no matter what happens, will by no means be put to shame. May it be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what they see. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by how I feel. Hallelujah. I'm only moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I see. 
troubled by what they sing. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by how I feel. Hallelujah. I'm only moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what men do. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what men say. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what men plan. Hallelujah. I'm only moved by what God says. Hallelujah. I'm only moved by what God says. Hallelujah. I'm only moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 By what men say. Yes. I'm not moved by what men may plan. Yes. I'm not moved by whatever I may see around me. Yes. I'm only moved by the word of God. Yes, Lord. And what was, does the word of God say? What does the word of God say? That passage we have read says, And he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Amen. First Peter chapter 2 verse 6. Latter part of it. And he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. I will by no means be put to shame. And you by no means if you believe on him yes. be put to shame. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First Kings or Second Kings chapter four. Second Kings chapter four. Second Kings chapter four. Let's see the word of the Lord that Jesus has the power to save from shame. Second Kings chapter four from verse one to verse seven. Second Kings four. One to seven. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet cried out to Elisha say your servant my husband is dead and you know that your servant feared the law and the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves so Elisha said to her what shall I do for you tell me what do you have in the house and she said your maid servant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors, empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. And when you have come in, you shall shut the door behind you and your sons. Then pour it into all those vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went from him and shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. Now it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, go, tell, sell the oil and pay your debts. And you and your sons live on the rest. Go, sell the oil and pay your debts. And you and your sons live on the rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you imagine the level of shame 
that would have come upon this woman. A widow. The husband was diseased. The husband was dead. A man of God, a prophet. And then the creditor. The man from whom the deceased husband borrowed some money. Come! And said, when next I come, if you cannot pay the debts, I will go with your two sons. And they will become my slaves. Can you imagine the shame that would have come upon this woman? For her two sons to be taken away from her. What a shameful situation. But thank God that God appeared for her. And the story was changed completely. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With the intervention of God through his prophet. This woman who did not have anything to live up now had more than enough. More than enough for her family. She became a distributor. Hallelujah. Amen. She was now selling oil to others. That is God. That is God. From nothing to more than enough. Today, I come in the name of the Lord with the mandate to assure you that no matter what the wicked ones have done to put you to shame, you will not be ashamed. Amen. You will not be ashamed. Amen. He will change that story. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He knows how to do it. The prophet of God appeared. I come as a servant of the Lord to you today and to tell you that Jesus saves from shame. Amen. He will save you yes. from shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus has the power to save from sorrow. Because he has the power to save from shame. Join with me to celebrate the faithfulness of God once again. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. For the joy of the Lord, we sing, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. 
yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Hallelujah! Jesus saves from sorrow. Jesus saves from shame. Amen. May I inform you today again that the man that carries grace can never be disgraced. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A man that carries grace can never be disgraced. Yes. For he says, you will never be ashamed. Mm. Believe God. Mm. Don't mind what the wicked ones are doing. Don't mind the situation around you. You will not be ashamed. Amen. If you carry grace. Yes. For the man that carries grace can never yes. be disgraced. I pray for you today that may this be your experience mm. that Jesus saves you from sorrow. Mm. He saves you from shame. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless your name again. For you love us. We give you praise. For you know what we are passing through in life. But because we have you, we are not afraid. Because we have you, we refuse to be intimidated. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice today that believe on you the Lord Jesus that saves as they believe on you today save them from sorrow Amen. save them from shame Amen. for you are able to do it yes. let the wicked ones not ask them a question where is that you are God mm. father arise Arise. Amen. Help your people. Amen. Thank you because we know that you have answered us today. Yes. You have answered us today. Mm. Those families that are sorrowful because of challenges of life. Those families that are ashamed of even coming out. Lord, because of what they are encountering. I pray for them today. Let doors of favor be open for them. Amen. Doors of favor be open for them. Amen. Doors of favor be open for Amen. them. Remove them from this kind of calamity. Amen. That they will have reason to bless your name. I pray for you under the sound of my voice today that that sorrowful situation, that shameful situation is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Amen. For Jesus that saves from sorrow mm. has come. Yes. Weep no more. Amen. For Jesus that saves from shame has come. Amen. Today is your day. Amen. He is able to save you. That when men were trying to look down on you, he will save you. Turn your sorrow into joy. Yes. He knows how to do it. Yes. May the Lord Visit you today divinely. Amen. And do for you what no man can do. Amen. May his name alone be highly exalted in your life. Amen. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name for it is done. For it is done. For it is done. It is done. That sorrow and sign flee away. Amen. It is done. That there are people will not be ashamed. Amen. As they believe in you, we believe you, God. Yes, Thank you. Thank you Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks be to God again for another opportunity of worshiping our God together. May the name of the Lord be highly exalted. Amen. 
And by the grace of God, this ministration has come to you from the international headquarters of United Evangelical Church worldwide. And I remain the servant of the Lord. You are servant, you are shepherd. Reverend Samuel Ebukiba, also known as the finger of God. Chairman of conference, United Evangelical Church worldwide. May the God of heaven that has brought me to you today divinely touch your life Amen. and change your story Amen. for good. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for leading us by your power and helping us to do what you have enabled us to do this day. Thank you, Lord. For now we ask that with the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Oh! 